Hello everyone and welcome back to The Breakdown. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to download and install the controlling mod in Minecraft 1.14.4. This is basically a very simple mod that adds some things to the key binding menu to make it easier to bind your custom keys and change some things in Minecraft. So by holding control you can see the keys that have not been bound yet and there's a cool example of that. It also allows you to, I believe, search keys and, and things like that in Minecraft. So it's really, really cool. A very, very simple mod but can be pretty helpful if you're, you know, wanting to change your controls and things like that. Maybe it's when you install one time and then you can delete later if you want but overall it is a great and very very simple mod for minecraft 114 so let's go ahead and get it installed but first we have a message from our sponsor which is apex minecraft hosting go to the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash apex to get an incredible 24-hour ddos directed minecraft server for you and your friends we actually love apex so much that we host our own server play.breakdowncraft.com on them so again if you want an incredible minecraft server for you and your friends to enjoy you can check out apex minecraft hosting at the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash apex nevertheless let's go ahead and just jump right on into this the first thing we want to do is well download controlling you you can find that at the second link down below and when you're here you want to come over here to the right hand sidebar and then scroll down till you see recent files then under recent files you'll see minecraft 1.14 here see that minecraft 1.14 under recent files and then you'll have controlling go ahead and click that purple download button next to the 1.14 version of controlling and then take us off to this download page where we have to wait five seconds after it's done downloading or after that five seconds up the download will begin and we will see if we can keep the file in the bottom left of our screen and that's safe to do so as long as it says controlling in engine.jar, which ours does. So we can go ahead and click keep. Now, if you're on Mozilla Firefox, it's popped up in the center of your screen and it's asking you to save the file. Same principle applies. Save the file as long as it starts with controlling in engine.jar. Now, we're not done downloading just yet. We still need to download Forge. Forge is basically the mod loader that we're going to use to install controlling, right? Controlling doesn't work without Forge. So we need to download Forge. To do that, come to the third link in the description down below, and that will take you here. This is our in-depth tutorial on how to download and install Forge in Minecraft, and this actually goes through everything. However, we're going to be going through it in this video as well. So when you're here, all you need to do is click the green Download Forge button. That will take us off to Forge's official website where we can download it. However, we do want to make sure we're downloading for Minecraft 1.14.4, to do that, you want to see MC 1.14.4 here. If you don't see that, no worries. Come over to the left-hand side. Click on the plus button next to one, or on, like yeah, next to 1.14 here. See that little plus next to 1.14. Click on that, and then click on 1.14.4 here. That will then take you to this page where you can confirm that it is the correct version here as well, MC 1.14.4. And then we can go under Download Recommended here and click on the Installer button. As you can see, Download Recommended to click on Installer, and it will go ahead and download Forge in the bottom left. As long as it starts with Forge and ends with .jar, we can go ahead and keep the Forge file, and we are, we're good to go. That's that. We can keep the Forge file. It's going to save, and we're awesome. Now, Mozilla Firefox has popped up in the center of your screen, just like as controlling did, and you're going to want to save that file as long as it has Forge and .jar in it. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and minimize our browser. And on my desktop, we have controlling and Forge here. Now, what if these aren't on your desktop? No worries. We've got a solution for you. All you want to do is go to the top left for me, probably bottom left of your screen, but basically that little Windows icon on the top or bottom bottom left, most likely bottom left of your screen. Click on that and then go ahead and type in downloads, right like so. You then have this downloads file folder in Windows. Click on that and in here you will have controlling and forge in this downloads folder. Drag them to your desktop just for ease of use. Once these are on your desktop, we're going to start off by installing forge. To do that, go ahead and right click on it. Click on open with and then you should have Java TM platform SE binary. But what if you don't? What if you don't have that? Well, no worries. Let's show you how to get it. All you want to do is go to the description of this video and download and install Java. So if you go to the description, you'll have this tutorial here, which is how to download and install Java for Minecraft servers, Minecraft mods, etc. When you're here, go through this tutorial. It's very, very easy and very, very in-depth though. And it goes through this just three simple steps to get Java working. However, if you install Java and thus install the Java development kit, it doesn't work correctly. Right, if it doesn't work correctly, it's still not letting you open up the Forge file. You need to run the jar fix, which is a very, very simple file, basically little file that makes all the jar files on your computer work with Java once again. So jar fix makes jar files work on your computer once again with Java. And this is an in-depth tutorial on how to get it working and how to get it set up. However, once you've done that, you will finally be able to right-click on Forge, click on Open With, and then click on Java TM Platform SE Binary. Then you can go ahead and click OK here, and it will open up the Forge Mod System Installer here. Basically, this is going to allow us to install, install Forge in Minecraft. To do that, go ahead and click on Install Client here, and then you just click OK. It will then go through, download, install, do everything that it needs to do to get Forge installed in Minecraft 
1.14.4. Now, there is a reason that it might not come up successful here, and that is if you've not played Minecraft 1.14.4 in the past. You must have played Minecraft 1.14.4 with no mods, no Optifine, no anything installed for this to work. If you haven't done that, go do it, then come back and Forge will be able to install, and you'll get this successfully installed. Client Profile Forge for version 1.14.4. Awesome. Let's go ahead and click OK here, and it will close out of the Forge mod installer. Now it is time to install controlling. This is a very, very simple thing as well. So all we need to do is go back up. It's in the top left for me, bottom left of your screen, that little Windows icon in the bottom left or top left of your screen there. Just click that window, little Windows icon. That's all you got to do. And then when you click on that, you want to type in Run. Are you in? And then you have this run application here. And in this run application, you want to go ahead and click on it. And then here you'll have a search box, basically. It's kind of like a text box, or it is a text box. But yeah, basically you're entering in where you want to go on your computer. And what you want to type in is percent app data percent. So percent sign app data percent sign percent app data percent exactly like that and then click enter. And then it's going to open up your roaming folder here. So once you're in your roaming folder, you wanna go into your .minecraft folder. And then once you're in your .minecraft folder, you should have a mods folder. But Nick, I don't have a mods folder. What do I do? Well, don't worry, I don't have one either. See, it's not there. Where did our mods folder go? It disappeared. What we wanna do is create a mods folder. To do this, just right click on this white space over here. Create a new folder, and then you can title that folder whatever you want. I'm gonna title it mods, M-O-D-S, all lowercase, exactly like that, and then you'll be good to go. You can open up your mods folder. Again, if this isn't exactly like this, all lowercase even, and just the three letters, mods, it's not gonna work, or four letters, excuse me, mods, it's not gonna work. It must be titled that and be all lowercase. Now go ahead and open up your mods folder, and it's very, very difficult to install controlling from here. All you need to do to install controlling is drag and drop it into the mods folder. So at that point, you're done. You've installed controlling in Minecraft. Now, we aren't done just yet, though, because if you go into Minecraft and you just slam that play button, it's not going to work. You need to make sure you're playing the correct profile. So to do that, open up the Minecraft launcher here. And then once you're in the Minecraft launcher, you can come down here to the bottom left. You have this little arrow next to the play button. Click on that, and you should have Forge here. If you do, click on it and click play. But what if you don't? What if you don't have that? Well, no worries. Click on the Installations button up here in the top of the Minecraft launcher. And then in the installations folder here in this area, if you have Forge, highlight and click play. But if you don't have anything, you don't have anything that mentions Forge, what you want to do is click on the plus new button here. And when you click on the plus new button, you're going to be able to name this. I'm going to name it play.breakdowncraft.com. Why am I naming it that? Because that is our server, the best Minecraft server in the multiverse. We have Grief Protected Survival Custom Skyblock. Our medieval survival server has over 25 quests on it. Yep, that's right, 25 custom quests. People love them with new quests coming every single month. We've also got incredible custom Skyblock on our Skyblock server with OP enchants, a balance shop. It's absolutely amazing. And then on top of that, we have Aquatic Survival with a slash shop based economy, making it like a slash shop based survival server. Not many of those left and, and Aquatic Survival is still there ticking right along. And then on top of that, we do have factions coming very, very soon. So come play with us. Play it on BreakdownCraft.com. Incredible network Minecraft server. You and your friends will love it. Nevertheless, let's go ahead under version here. Let's click on the latest release. Drop that down. And then we need to find and release 1.14.4-forge. There it is. Release 1.14.4-forge. Click on that, and then I'm going to change my resolution, just so you guys will be able to see once we get in game. And then we can go ahead and click Create here. Now on our installations tab, at the very, very bottom, we've had a new profile up here, in our case called play.breakdowncraft.com, and we can see it's for 1.14.4-forge. Let's go ahead and scroll over and click that green play button on that, and now Minecraft 1.14.4 will open up with the controlling mod installed. Now you might have an issue on opening Minecraft, right? It probably won't do it to me. It's kind of stopped doing it for me recently, but it's still something I want to mention. One, it's going to take a really long time to open. As you can see, it's like what happened. It's not opening, but it is. Just give it time. It will open, and there it is. Now, in the opening process, it may freeze, right? It may freeze. It may stop working. It's not going to do it here, but it might lock up around this area or something. And if it does that, just click that red X. Click that red X. It might say, ah, oh, it's error loading. Go ahead and close the program, right? And then it'll come up with a Minecraft launcher. And it'll say Minecraft crashed. But that's okay. Click okay. That's fine. Whatever. Click out of that. And then just click the play button again. Click the green play button and the Minecraft launcher again. And guess what? It's going to work. That time. It's going to work. I don't know what it is, but it's occasionally Forge will freeze on initial launch. And then you need to restart, basically, Forge to get it to work. So, nevertheless, we click on mods here. We will see the controlling mod is installed. As the ability to search for key bindings using their name, the key binding menu. Let's go ahead and go to the key binding menu. We're going to have to jump in the game for this one. Let me just come over here to controls. 
and we can see in fact the search key is there. So if you want to do something like, um, I don't know, like move, is that a thing? I don't know. What, what's uh, yeah? There we go. So we have this like jump. That's going. Cool you can search jump there, or I don't even know. I what is? Uh, let's see, hot bar, right? There's all sorts of hot bar ones. Or yeah, what, what do you use to take a screenshot? What do you use to toggle perspective? Yeah, that's what I was thinking actually. Like toggle, you know, back and forth that five, or you can see like third person, and all that stuff. What do you use for it? It's all there. And then on top of that, I believe you can hit control. Is that what it is? Or shift? There's a way to show unbound. You go just click show unbound there. And you can show these unbound here as well. But let's go back over into the controlling basically mod page because I believe you can, by holding control, that's what it is, by holding control, you can see the keys that have not been bound. So if we come in here and hold control, is that gonna work? It might not work. Everything else about this is working, but that might not depending. Let's see, maybe we need to click on one of these and then hold control. No, that's not that's not it. Okay, anyway, as you can see, we can definitely agree this is working, except that little menu where we could hold control. For some reason that one isn't working for us. But that's that's okay. That is that is okay. Um, let's see. What are we what are we even looking for here? It's gonna take us off to a third party website. Um, yeah, so we have this here, so I'm gonna, I'm just gonna watch his little tutorial. Yeah, so he's holding control and it's popping that up. I'm not seeing that happening, right? I'm holding control, holding, holding right control. That's not happening, but that is okay. I think I can look past that by the ability to search, key menus, show the unbound keys this way, as well as show any of the conflicts that you might have. Like, for example, if we come in here and make a jump, W, right? W is walk forwards and that. So if we show conflicts, it's going to show those too. We want to switch it up back to space. So there you have it. That is how you can install Control Again Minecraft 1.14.4. If you have any questions, let us know in the comment section down below. We are more than happy to help you out. My name is Nick. This has been The Breakdown. Enjoy the video. And I am out. Peace.